What's up, Vloggy Pilots? Vloggy Poncho here, back again. My New Year's resolutions are already in full swing, uh, officially starting here today on January 3rd, 2024. Probably could have started two days ago, but one of the things that I've realized lately is not everything has to be perfect to be worth doing. So I want to start my vlog channel again. I have a bunch of reasons for this. Uh, the primary one being, primary two being, it'll make some semi-decent content, in my opinion. And two, it creates a remarkable video record of my life. I go back and watch the old Bloggy Poncho videos, and I don't remember that day. But when I watch the video, I remember talking about that day. So I think it's pretty cool. Just a little investment in my future. And you get to find out what's been going on. And we're going to do a few things each day, too. Every day, I'm going to show you uh, one of my animals. Uh, most days, it will probably be this one. Jasper the dog. Her ears go up when you say her name. She's a good pup. And, uh, yeah. We look on, we're going to look out for cats tomorrow. I also want to do the Wordle every day, the Pokidoku every day, which is something I'll show you in a minute. And I'm just going to show you a picture. Just any image. Probably a meme. Just to spice it up a little bit every day. So let's get into it. I already put in the first uh, <laughs> word on the Wordle because Theodore was in here and rolled over on my keyboard and rolled across all my hotkeys to end my recording. <sighs> I have a group chat where my family does Wordle. Uh, but I don't often submit there anymore. I need to change the settings on here too. It's probably not set to hard mode and that's how I prefer to play. So let's see. R in the middle, I in the middle, R somewhere. I'm thinking a word that ends in like I, R, P. How about chirp? All right, two letters in place. Other endings after I, R. I, R, E can't be it. We don't have an E. Could be a D. I don't know if that's possible. Could be a K. Uh, could be... Hmm. Maybe an L? Like whirl or swirl? Neither of those will fit, though. What's the most likely one? Maybe an S? No, no S's. I see we still have O and U left on vowels. So I'm trying to figure something that ends in an O maybe. <laughs> Looking like Spyro, but that's not how it's spelled. Could have, well, let's just put in a word that, fit, that fits, huh? Let's go, hmm. I was thinking like admire. Boy, not a lot of words that seem to be popping out of me here today. Maybe it ends in a Y. One of the things I like to do is just put X's in and then see what, what popped up at, uh, at me just from putting in the letters that I think might be there. <sighs> Wiry, too short. And there's not a whole lot of words that wouldn't have an E between the R and the Y. Hmm. Wow, how embarrassing. I get stumped on the very first wordle on the, on the uh, way back. We'll come back to it. Here's Pokidoku. So this is by Doku Games. This is a cool daily little puzzle. And it's a 3x3 grid. And the goal is to fill in each square with a Pokemon, and the Pokemon has to fulfill the requirements of its row and column. Or row and column. Uh, and sometimes it's harder than others, because today's doesn't look too bad. Uh, but occasionally this last column is like Gigantamax forms or something, and I don't know any of that. Psychic Ghost. 
This has to be something from a newer gen, because in Generations 1 and 2, the only ghosts were the Gengar line. Reuniclus isn't a ghost type, even though it kind of seems like it could be. Psychic ghost. Hmm, well, that's actually kind of a tough one. I'm trying to think of the ghosts from new generations. Ghosts has become a, has become a weird type where anything that's haunted can be a ghost. Anyway, I know normal ghost. There's only one, and it's Hisuian Zoroa and Zoroark. So we'll fill that in. A ghost all by a trade. I'm sure you're all screaming Gengar. All right. Psychic Fairy. That one's easy. Probably the best known uh, psychic fairy type is Gardevoir. Something I didn't mention is that this game actually gives you extra points at the end. Uh, for picking more unique Pokemon, ones that people didn't think of. That's what this uniqueness rank is showing up here. Normal Fairy. Oh, this is always a puzzle for me because half of the normal types, half of the fairy types from Gens 1 and 2 used to be normal, and only some of them got dual typing. It's weird. Fairy type evolved by a trade. I think Florges evolved from a trade, right? No. All right, well, we're not going to win today. What fairy type evolves from a trade? Hmm. Let me have to come back around to that. Monotype Psychic. Let's go Kadabra, since Alakazam is probably a popular answer. Monotype Normal. I always like to pick Zangoose when I can. Look at how no one thinks about Zangoose, and he's so fucking cool. Monotype Evolved by a Trade. Let's try Machamp. Very nice. Pretty common answer, though. Gengar is up here at 60%. That's nuts. Okay, very normal. I want to say Granbull. No, it might be pure fairy type now. Did Jigglypuff pick up uh, dual typing? It did. Okay. So, we lost today. Sad Pikachu. But... We can keep playing and uh, try and fill in these last two spots. Fairy type evolved by a trade. I'm just going to try and think of fairy types. We've got, let's see, a bunch of the fairies from Gen 1, they're, they're Moonstone Pokemon, so that's not a trade. Hmm. Probably a Gen 6 Pokemon. We got the flower one. That wasn't it. Then what other fairies did they add in that gen to... Make it stand out. Sylveon is a stone evolution. Oh, Klefki doesn't evolve. Carbink doesn't evolve. Maybe something from Sword and Shield or Scarlet and Violet. That's going to be a tougher one. I don't think Tinkaton evolves from a trade. No. I don't know if I can even think of other fairy type Pokemon. I'm also still totally stumped on Psychic Ghost. It's got to be something from a, a newer gen, too, because I don't think that typing existed uh, prior to Gen 4 or 5. Or, like, that combination. I don't think it ever showed up prior to 4 or 5. I'm trying to think of Ghost Pokemon from Scarlet and Violet. Hmm, I'm drawing a blank. I think I'm going to give up on this one. How do I give up? Normally you can, yeah, you can scroll down and see. All right, so let's see. It looks like the only fairy types evolved by a trade are Aromatisse and Slurpuff. Okay. <laughs> Those are the two fairy types from Gen 6 that I was never going to think of. Because they're just so forgettable. <laughs> I mean, X and Y were already, eh, games. But putting these designs in didn't help. Slurpuff is the Gen 6 equivalent of the Ice Cream Cone guy. Okay, well, no wonder I can't think of any Psychic Ghost types. They're all legendaries. Hoopa, Lunala, Necrozma Dawn, and Calyrex Shadow. Okay. Let's come back to the Wordle now. Maybe I can redeem myself if I can actually complete the Wordle. And I've immediately gone way over time. I want these videos to be like five minutes. I'm already at ten. Mostly because I can't think of a word that fits here. I'm thinking... So let's see. Spire, no. Huh. 
I don't think IRL. Well, how about twirl? Twirl fits. And there it is. In three. I think this IR as the last two was probably a, uh, a pretty narrow space to fill in. And then for your, uh, your image of the day, <laughs> screenshot of a Babylon Bee article, which is like an onion type site. Man still chasing that high. He felt playing Halo at LAN party with the fellas back in 2001. And then it's a picture of the uh, Blood Gulch map and a guy who could be could have been me in another life. So uh, <laughs> this just this just tickles me because there really was a different feeling back then, wasn't it? Like before Halo Two and like online gaming that that kind of era of like console online gaming because you could play like starcraft and stuff you know, world of warcraft maybe not world of warcraft because i think that came out in 03 but um maybe but there were you know other games you could play on pc online but when console gaming first got that that big online revolution and it became way more popular like around the time of halo 2 that was that was a treat playing halo on lan my boy scout troop used to have uh uh an event once a year where we would spend the night at the place where we met and it was just like a building in town and because we had electricity and utilities that we never had at a, while we were camping we would turn that camp night into a land party <laughs> and people would bring uh their old their giant crts from home and hook up their xbox to it and we ended up getting i think a, the biggest we ever got i think was connecting two of them to do a 4v4 I mean, that was so much fun having all those players on one screen playing in person it was a totally different feeling and something that I wish happened more. I think couch co-op is a is an underrated way to play games. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video and uh, welcome back to Vloggy Poncho. I'll see you tomorrow.